Good evening. I am uh, showing off my actual washing machine that I have here in the truck. I got sick and tired of the washing machines in um, truck stops, not really doing a good job of cleaning laundry, paying $5 to wash a single load. It, it just was getting expensive. And so a couple weeks ago, I purchased this washing machine. It is a... Uh, it is made by Extreme Power US. I got it on Amazon. As you can see, it was you know, $110 in Amazon Prime, so it was free shipping, which was awesome. Um, it actually does a pretty decent sized load of laundry. Right now, I've got in here, as you can see it going, I've got in here um, about five days worth of clothes. Five days, pair, you know, five pairs of underwear, five pairs of socks, and five shirts. Now it's been running for a few minutes and you can see that the water is actually not, you know, you can see the water is actually a little dirty just from the wash because well, it's been washing, so it's doing its job. Um, you can wash, the, the wash cycle is about you know, up to 15 minutes. I did about nine minutes, so there's only a couple minutes left of this one. But what you see in here is actually only five gallons of water. Yep, there's my me sorting laundry. See what I wanted to wash in this cycle, so I got probably another load or two to do but it's for each load it's about five gallons of water to wash five gallons of water to, to rinse now this ha comes with a spin dryer now it doesn't dry it perfectly like you put in an actual dryer dryer but this gets it to the point where uh, earlier this week while I was waiting for a shipper to finish loading me yeah that took forever um, I actually did my sheets and I did it first thing in the morning while I was waiting for them to load me and then got the hung up my sheets you know hung the sheets up yeah I put some lines up there hung some sheets up, you know hung them up and by the time I was done driving for the day well, about, well, about five hours four or five hours into my drive the sheets were completely dry so the spin dryer does a great job of actually drying things now this should be done here in just a minute and um, so tonight I'm actually at a, at a rest area in Ohio. Um, I need to get some laundry done because, well, I'd like to have some clean clothes. I'm not completely out, but I you know, want to have some nice options for the rest of the week. Uh, so give me a couple minutes for it to finish and then I will drain the water out and do a rinse cycle. So I'll be right back, hold on. Okay, so wash cycle's done, as you can see. it's water is actually pretty gray which is a good sign I guess that's washing I hope so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it to drain and this thing's gonna drain the water I got a hose it goes right on out into uh, into a bucket so it's gonna drain the hose out there or drain the water out see the water's draining pretty pretty good there Some of the some of the clothes around. I'm just in the passenger seat of my truck right now, so I'm making this pretty easy. I mean, it's it's not going to sit here permanently, but you know, I'm, I'm able to do this while I'm in the truck. You know, at a you know, I'm able to do this pretty quickly. Yeah, that's the reefer in the background, so it's not <laughs> the quietest. But all right now, as you can see, the water's draining pretty pretty quickly out of this and. And once it's done draining, I'm going to probably spin out, get this here, put a couple items in here to spin out, so you can see how the spinner works. So this is just washing, so I'm going to put a few shirts in here, some underwear. You want to make sure you balance the spinner, and you can see the spinner holds a decent amount of decent amount of laundry. Get some more underwear in there, just because. So, and you can see we've drained the water out completely. So I'm going to turn the drain drain function off. Yeah. I mean, you can you can see how sopping wet that stuff is still. 
All right, so put the safety cover back. Close this. Turn the spin cycle on. And you can see it actually is pretty good for a spin cycle. Now you can't see the water coming out, but in just a couple minutes I'll show you what the water, how dry the stuff is coming out of the spin cycle. So give me just a second. Okay, so I've just done a couple minutes, and as you can see, like the sock right now, which was dripping wet before, is nothing. It's dry. I mean, it's it's damp, and it's pretty easy. So I mean, the rest of the shirts and stuff are pretty pretty dry too. So I got one more thing to run through the spin cycle, and I'll do a rinse cycle here in just a second. So hold on. So really, all I'm doing is just really all I'm doing is just spinning out. The excess soapy water so that way when I put the rinse water in I don't have excess soapy stuff dealing with it so I only run it just for a real quick minute not even that long and you can see the spin cycle has up to five minutes you can set on it I've yet to use that and I did sheets just before um, so this is pretty good so I'm gonna pause this and get this stuff out of here and put it back and you see I put the already stuff out in there now I'm just gonna fill it full of water here in just a second okay so I just poured the water in you can see water's in there clean water and I'm gonna actually add just a little bit of fabric softener and well this is still trial and error to figure out how much of what to put in there so I'm just gonna put a little bit in I don't want to put too much but it's better to put it in before you put the clothes in all right that seems like a pretty decent amount of fabric softener I guess oops dripping hold on always good to have paper towel or something to wipe up in case you spill a little bit so I'm just going to turn this on you can see the amount of force it has I'm going to turn it on to, to, to spin the uh, uh, to mix up the fabric softener in there so turn it back off now that I think that's mixed I'm going to throw my laundry in here I'll be right back so right now, I'm finishing up the rinse. Still got probably a good well, timer set for about nine minutes. And as you can see, we're rinsing the water and well, I'm getting splash, I'm gonna close the lid again. But you can see it does a good job of, of agitating the water or agitating the clothes. And then when it's done, I'll go back in, put it here into the spinner and spin dry everything. And then I'll hang it up. Um, here in the truck But you know that's taken me well this video is about 10 minutes. It probably took me maybe 20 20 minutes to do the one load of laundry and 10 gallons of water, which is way less than the water that you use at the truck stop anyways um, so You know overall I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this now you guys may be asking me where do I get the water from well, a lot of, you know, my, my five gallon buckets here, there's one and, and there's the other one. Um, the five gallon buckets, I fill up using, um, like there was a truck stop I was at yesterday that had an RV, you know, an RV dump site and a water hookup site so you can, so RVs could fill up water. The other places are truck stops. Uh, if you look at the fuel islands, they actually have, a lot of them have water faucets water spigots out there and you can just fill up you know I'll just fill up the buckets there um, when I know I need to do laundry I don't plan on keeping 10 gallons of water on the truck you know, these buckets filled all the time but when I know I got to do laundry coming up I'll get them filled and then when I get a chance do some laundry do a load of laundry so um, so I'm going to pause this for another minute and then as soon as it's done rinsing I'm going to go put everything back into the spinner and then we'll hang stuff up and then we'll be done. Now, I will say it does help to have a towel or paper towel because inevitably you're going to drip some water and you know, make sure your spot that you have working is gonna be pretty clear. You can see a few drops, nothing major, but you, know, you just wanna make sure that you can wipe it up and don't have anything that's gonna to get too badly damaged if it gets wet. So this is almost done rinsing so give it a couple more minutes and then um, I'll come back and, and show you the spin cycle.
Okay, so now it's done spin drying and you can see it ain't sopping wet like it was. And then all I'm gonna do is just hang it up and let it air dry overnight or through tomorrow. I mean, I don't need the laundry tonight, tomorrow morning, but I'll let it air dry and then hang it up, put it all the way uh, tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow evening when, I'm, when I park again for the night. That's about it. The nice thing about this unit is again, it plugs right into my power inverter. It only takes 240 watts to run. Um, so it's something that you could run in just about any truck, any off of any power inverter. Um, it's for a hundred bucks, hundred and ten dollars. I can do laundry in my truck pretty easily, and I'm see how well it lasts. I'm hoping it lasts me at least a year, if not more. So enjoy. That's just me doing laundry. I know, kind of weird, but it's just me doing laundry on the truck to help save me some money. But also, I can do laundry on my own time, not when there's a washing machine available at a truck stop. So. One last note about this. I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm at a rest area for the night. And this is, uh, you really can't see, drain hose going down out here to the, uh, actually it's out here to the ground. In all, in all aspects, it's just, you know, draining out, drain out the side of the door. Now some of you might complain about I'm polluting the ground, polluting the wherever I'm at. All right, well, it's everything I'm using is eco-friendly. And well, if you've ever been to some truck stops and some rest areas, this is actually cleaning up the pavement more than a lot of these rest areas and truck stops because, you know, a lot of drivers have a tendency of um, being lazy, not walking the, you know, the few feet or whatever to the bathroom and use go out behind the tractor in the middle of the night well at least this is way better smelling and cleans it up a little better so um i've thought about that and you know if i have to i've i can i've done it before i've i put the water back into the five gallon buckets and then when i found a uh a place to dump the water like that rv like that truck stuff that had the rv dump place i've dumped it there as well so I'm still working to see what works best for this, but this is how you can easily do laundry in a, you know, in your truck. And so I've got, right now I've got the shirts hanging up and, you know, underwear. So two pair of underwear with clothes pins holding it there. And they'll just sit here and, and when it comes time, it will, uh, they'll be dry by, probably dry by the morning actually. And then the shirts are hanging. I mean, this shirt's almost completely dry. This shirt's I could probably wear it in the morning um, by the time I get up. So it's pretty quick. And yeah, I'm not using a dryer to dry shit, but at least it's, uh, at least I can do laundry on my own terms. And you know, like I said, five pairs of shirts and socks and underwears is a pretty good amount of laundry to do at one time with 10 gallons of water. So appreciate you taking the time to watch this. Have a good night.